Man, it's a chilly, miserable day outside. Ooh, this is really, really, really cold. Everything is nicely frozen and frosty. How efficient is a heat pump versus a radiator? Very cold day outside with um, minus two degrees outside. It's 18.4 uh, uh, inside right now. I've just turned the heat pump on and um, I have a choice. Do I use a radiator like this? This is a 2000 watt radiator or do I use a heat pump? What is better? On the cable that runs in the house for that unit, I put a watt meter and right now my entire house, this is the entire house right now, is using a little bit over a thousand watts. That includes everything. But the heat pump is running, I have my lights on, I have my fan on, I have my TV on, I have my laptop on. So basically everything in the house is uh, on and this unit uses about 700 watts right about now. So it uses about 700 watts and very very nice warm air is coming in through this inlet. What you're gonna notice when you run it, uh, a heat pump in uh, such a cold day outside? Sometimes from the temperature that I set it to, which is 22 degrees, sometimes you're gonna see there saying DF, which is defrost. What it has to do, it has to defrost the compressor, which is outside, because what it does, it moves the heat from the outside inside the house. How it works compared to the radiator, this is resistive heating. This one uses power to heat up an element over here and put air, on, uh, hot air, um, on the top. It has a little fan that pushes everything around, so it uses about 2,000 watts worth of uh, power. This one is a lot more efficient because this is uh, not resistive heating. This one is running on moving the heat from the outside towards the inside. And I know it kind of like sounds stupid when I say moving the heat from the outside because there's no heat outside, right? Because it's very, very cold outside. But the system is quite complicated and even though it's minus degrees outside, it is actually quite efficient as far as um, generating heat from the little heat that is outside based on the coolant that or the freon or the refrigerant that that unit uses. So to make it very simple for you, if you'll have to choose between one and the other, all the way to minus 10 degrees Celsius, the heat pump is going to work really, really well. Uh, the colder it gets outside, the more it's going to turn off to defrost itself. This one is going to become a lot more efficient if the temperatures drop under 10 degrees outside. So then you'll have resistant heating is going to be a lot more efficient at that point. But that one is using a lot less power in time compared to this heater over here. So if you have the option to use one of these or one of those, um, the heat that this one produces is a lot more ambient. It pushes all the heat inside the house and the fan easily helps spread it around. So you have a much more even temperature in the house and it heats up really, really fast. You turn this thing on in the morning and the temperature just rises like right up very, very easily. Where this one, even though it will heat up the room, it's going to use a lot more power. This is not bad, but that one, based on my calculations and all the measuring that I've done, it is twice as efficient. So yeah, that's the uh, final answer. And I'm curious to see what you think at the bottom of this video. Thanks for watching.